hello everyone. I'm Andrea Ritter, the Communications Director here at Summit School District, and today we have our Board President, Kate Hednett, here. Thanks for taking the time to meet with me. It's great to see you, Kate. So we wanted to share a little bit mm -hmm. about the board meeting that we had on Monday, mm -hmm. which really kicks off our new superintendent search. And it's very exciting to bring in our new permanent um, superintendent. So can you share with everyone just a little bit about the process and how everything's gonna work in the timeline? Yeah, so first I just wanna share um, and, and celebrate that we have our interim superintendent, Roy Crawford here. Um, we are very pleased with his work. We look forward very much to continuing working with him through the end of the school year. Um, he did come in as an interim and he'll be returning to his retirement um, come July 1st. We will then be bringing in the new person that starts July 1st. Um, so that was the nature of our conversation and talking about some logistics on Monday morning. Wonderful. So our search firm, mm -hmm. um, who's? McPherson Jacobson. Yep. So we have been under contract with them since the spring of 2020. This search and the interim search we did last spring were included in that, um, in that fee. So the district won't be incurring any additional charges this year aside from uh, potentially some advertising fees and some travel expenses, which will be quite nominal. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So we, our timeline looks like we'll get this um, job posted mm -hmm. before the end of the year, yep. and then we'll start the search. Exactly. So the job gets posted. Um, we um, close the search at the end of January. McPherson Jacobson then takes a couple of weeks to go through all the applications to screen them and to look and make sure that they're aligned with our qualifications. And then the board looks at a a short list that we then narrow down to an even shorter list that becomes a public um, conversation and then we bring in the community to do um, interviews um, to be part of interview panels um, and then we we go through that process really at end of February into March and then by early April we'll have um, decided and, and um, agreed upon the, the new uh, superintendent for 22-23. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. So we are already down the road with our five-year strategic plan. We've just started to activate our strategic plan task forces so that we can really begin to dig deeper and do the work of the strategic plan. Mm -hmm. I'm sure folks will probably want to know, you know, will we stay on track with that? Will things change? What do you anticipate with moving forward with our strategic plan? Yeah, and thank you for, that's an excellent question. And, it, and it's important to highlight that, you know, we have invested a lot of time. We have a, a board approved um, strategic plan that is a five-year plan, as you mentioned. Um, you know, we're well on our way with a great new direction for our district and we will stay the course. So we are not looking to, you know, change directions or start over by any means. And that is very clear in this job, the job posting and the qualifications. There's a link to our strategic plan. So whoever the person is that comes into that role will really continue to move that work forward. Oh, that's excellent. Yeah. So everyone, please stay tuned um, for more details as we start this search and please get involved. Absolutely. Thank you. And thank you for your time. Thank you and happy holidays.